So here we are, Penny Fan, Wales, a bizarrely warm summer. I mean, uh, the locals say it's never been this hot. Quite a busy morning, lots of people going up the hill, and I'm one of them. Come with me. Wow, so here's a trick for you. We're coming up to the marker posts that mark the top, maybe uh, 100 or so metres. This is a perfect place in bad weather to stop, to put your hood up, maybe put some uh, an extra layer on before you go over the top. Because when you go over the top, the wind is doing uh, maybe another 10 or 20 miles an hour on the top. So the wind chill is quite uh, extreme. About 100 metres from the top, stop, put your waterproofs on, maybe another layer, prepare yourself for the summit because like I say the wind up there is going to be 10 or 20 miles an hour faster the wind chill is going to be more extreme when you get down the other side same again when you get down the other side about 100 meters or so you're probably going to be out of the wind that's the time to take that layer off put it back in your bag and carry on and that sounds like a real palaver but that is really going to make a difference it's going to stop you getting sick it's going to stop you uh, getting cold you know so uh, that trick is based on uh, over 20 years of experience of uh, uh, doing mountaineering stuff like this so um, a good trick if anyone's interested bar of chocolate more surprise than me. <laughs> Look at that, Penny Fang. waterproofs off my core is nice and warm now I've got my nice kind of uh, uh, down coat on and uh, my body temperature is coming up very nicely I've had a nice big mug of tea with a couple of sugars in it which should uh, rehydrate me and uh, put the old sugar back that I've lost uh, pounding up that hill but uh, that's it really I've got a couple of bits of kit that I want to share with you so I'm going to get those out in a bit put those on the table and we can have a look at a couple of new bits of equipment but we're on to the next phase. So we're heading into uh, Brecon for a walk round. We're going to send some of you good people some postcards. And uh, then we're going to be off to uh, find somewhere we can wild camp this evening on the other side of the hill. Okay, so that was our trip up uh, Penny Fan. It's been a great day. Uh, we got to the top of Jacob's Ladder. The wind up there was about four times uh, as strong as it was on the way up and we decided against going down Jacob's Ladder and camping on the other side, knowing that we would have to come back up it, you know, uh, again tomorrow, and the weather forecast for tomorrow is even worse. So, uh, we're going to drive round, then we're going to wild camp on the other side, so we're going to be here tonight. Uh, thanks very much for sharing the adventure. Uh, my, uh, my old ragged ass up uh, Penny Fan once more, I've climbed it, Every decade, I started climbing uh, Penny Fan when I was in my 20s with the military, and I've been up there in my sort of 20s, 30s, 40s, and now my 50s. So um, uh, I'm feeling like I should uh, give myself a little pat on the back for that one. It was a little bit tough going up, but um, 
a lot easier coming down. You know, a lot of people have trouble on their knees as they walk down uh, uh, quite steep uh, hills and uh, cross-country terrain. But I didn't have any trouble with that at all today. Uh, going up was uh, a little tough in places, but uh, done now, you know. So on to the next phase of this uh, little adventure. Got a couple of bits of kit that I want to talk to you about. Back soon. else that I did was I bought a uh, just a Bergen cover for it but then what I did is I went on eBay I bought a piece of uh, fluorescent uh, orange ripstop um, fabric and I just uh, sewed it to the inside of the Bergen cover so that's the, that was the original camouflage on the outside days like today on the inside and then just uh, rotate it as required but um, I think to modify that cost me about you know five quid at the most and uh, it's the sort of stuff that if you get yourself in trouble it'll save your life okay this is just the lid of my Bergen two books really uh, I've got my um, New Testament Bible and uh, Lofty Wiseman's SAS survival book they're the only two books you need in the field a brilliant storybook and uh, you know if you're trying to while away the hours of an evening Lofty Wiseman's a good read. <coughs> the other thing I have in the top of my pack excuse me <coughs> I've got two rescue flares I've got one um, uh, orange smoke and I've got uh, one um, red hand flare and uh, they just live in the top of my pack on today, on days like today. Put them in the Lydia pack, just forget about them. The other thing I've got in here is a uh, decent head torch that's there, ready to go. And I've got a little kind of rescue beacon. You know, these things are um, pennies to buy. This one's got uh, 200 hours. Um, of a night what you would do is you just activate it it's got a spike on one end you literally kind of just dig it in the ground and it just flashes away quite happily for 200 hours so uh, that's my sort of you know personal survival rescue equipment along with the orange marker panel that was my plan to uh, keep myself safe in the hills a little bit of kit to help anyone else out should you come across wow, so a really great day so far you know we uh, did the uh, hike up uh, penny fan in the uh, uh, wind and the rain and i uh, certainly got all of my angst out of me you know uh, right now i feel so calm and uh, and I, you know i'm not tired i'm not about to fall asleep but i just feel you know just really calm and relaxed and great you know uh, I've set the uh, kind of rooftop tent up as you have seen before, so uh, all of that should be familiar to all the people that follow my channel. Uh, we come kind of round the side, and there's the uh, kitchen hooked on the side. I've just turned the stove round just to get uh, uh, a little bit better boil, you know, sort of out of the wind. I'll just uh, turn that down while we're here. Uh, you may not have seen the awning before, you know, so up here. What I did is I put a uh, steel, as an aluminium track, it's like a U-track screwed to the side of the uh, rooftop tent that takes the tarp. The tarp is uh, seven foot wide, uh, which is as long as the uh, rooftop tent. And it's uh, got a projection of five feet. So it's just kind of, you know, uh, I built it exactly for days like this, you know, where you know, it's a little bit overcast and you just want to be out to cook, you know, somewhere sort of out the rain and the wind and uh, it works perfectly. That's the same tarp that I um, put over the bushcraft bed when I made that film for you. Um, what I did is I put little kind of uh, eyelets on the corners of it as well so that I could use it as a tarp as well as use it as the awning. Uh, I remember to throw a couple of chairs in the uh, kind of rooftop tent and just use it as a roof box. Um, and of course the uh, kind of kitchen, you know, that goes in the roof box as well, so it just lays on top of the bed. 
got a couple of pillows and a couple of blankets up there this time which I um, omitted to uh, put in last time uh, we've got a little kind of fire pit all set up for this evening I've just had a walk around the field and um, it's been uh, really good you know I've just picked up lots of sort of odds and sods of uh, other people's uh, fires really you know camped right on this river so it is in fact not road noise you can hear it's just the uh, good old-fashioned uh, uh, water and that is going to be uh, you know really calming I think to uh, to sort of sleep with and uh, that's about it really you know the uh, the BOV has been um, um, really uh, you know really faultless it's been uh, great uh, 220 miles I think it was roughly here from uh... morning everybody okay um, I'm leaving Wales the reason I'm leaving Wales is because everything I own is wet man they should change the uh, the logo you know from uh, a dragon to a tap because <laughs> it just doesn't stop raining. Uh, I've had a brilliant time. The fan dance was uh, was great. You know, uh, uh, like I say, you know, uh, 20, 30, 40. Now in my 50s, and I'm still up there. So that was um, really pleasant. Uh, the truck's been great. Okay, so that's my time in Wales. I'm going to get home early evening to my uh, beautiful girls and my uh, gorgeous wife. Just about to put the rooftop tent down. I'm all fueled up, and I'm heading back. So I guess this is uh, the point where I have to say, you know. Um, please uh, thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and if you're watching on uh, Facebook, follow. Um, it really helps, uh, and it uh, goes towards me making some more films. So, as always, any comments, love to hear them.